Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial here on my channel. In this video I'll be showing you how to prune the end dimension and by prune what I mean is to remove some parts of it and keep others. For example keeping the main part in the middle and then removing all of the outside areas where you have end cities like this one right here. Now if you're wondering why you would need to do this well, if you explore the end dimension a lot in single player or you play on a multiplayer server, you're very likely to run into this problem where you go looking for shulkers to get shulker shells and end cities to get some loot and you find all the ones that you visited have already been raided by other players and that causes you to explore further and further to find more of these end cities. So your trips outwards to find them become longer and then that takes up a lot of time. And if you play on a multiplayer server for a long time, this will become a common problem. So I'm going to show you in this video how to prune the end dimension so you can reset the chunks which means that these things will generate again then they will have new shulkers to be killed and new loot as well and the technique that I'm showing you will work for both single player and for multiplayer as well. Now before we go any further into this video I want to say make sure you make a backup there should really be no excuse to not having a backup when pruning the end dimension. You're going to be deleting files from your world and they will be gone forever. So use the game's built-in backup feature right here. You can make a backup of your world and of course if you're on a server you need to make a backup over there as well. Now when you're ready to actually go in and delete some of the files the way to get there is by clicking on the open world folder button right here. This will actually bring up the folder with all the files of your world in and if you're on a server what you'll need to do is navigate to the world folder and inside of it you should see all these similar sorts of files. Now the end dimension is inside of this one right here, dim1. Not to be confused with dim slash one, that is the never dimension, this one is the end. Double, triple check that you are going inside the right dimension, you do not want to make a mistake with that one. When you go in here you then have to go inside of the region folder and these are all the region files of the end dimension you have. Now I have a pre-designated list of these files that you would want to keep and I'll be showing you them later on in the video and I'll tell you what's inside of those region files as well. But first of all, if you want to identify a build that you want to keep that's out in the end dimension, well, I'm going to show you how to locate the region file for that. For example, you might have something amazing and magical on your server like this. This is the Let's Play Minecraft Together server, which is my Patreon server, and this end dimension hub built around the portal here is absolutely incredible. It's an insane build, and if you had something like this in the end, you wouldn't want to accidentally delete it. So next, all I'll be showing you how to do is identify where you are in the world in terms of region files. Now let's say that you have an amazing base out in the end dimension that you would just hate for it to be accidentally deleted. You want to keep this and in order to do that you need to figure out what region files it's inside of. Now it just so happens that Dinnerbone, one of the coders of the game, has made a tool to help you do this and all you need to do is enter your F3 coordinates into that tool and then it will convert your location into the region file you're inside of. Now you're going to have to be vigilant when doing this because where you're standing right now might actually be the region file that's outside of this area. You can see with this right here what chunk we're inside of so you need to consider that wherever you are doesn't necessarily mean that the rest of the area is as well. So what I would recommend doing is going to each of the corners of your base and making sure that you capture all the region files for the entirety of the base. Now anyway, we're going to take these coordinates right here, minus 285, 109, or sorry, 1089, and input that into Dinnerbones tool. So in the description box of this video, you're going to find a link to my website. It's going to be a page with the list of the chunks you can prune and some instructions on. And at the bottom of that page, you'll find a link to this right here. The URL is also on the screen if you want to go directly to Dinnerbone's website. So I've inputted the coordinates here, minus 285, and over here, 1089. And then down at the bottom, it tells me what region that is inside of. You can see here it is in minus 1. Dot two, and that is the name of the file that we would then want to keep because that is the location we were just standing in. And I've just noticed at the bottom of the page it says this region contains blocks minus 512 to 1024 and minus 1 to 1535. That is extremely useful for in-game being able to figure out if the entirety of your base is inside of that area. 
Having checked the coordinates of this base, it just so happens that the region file goes right through the middle of it. So everything that you see here and to my right is part of the region file we just learned about. But everything on the other side over here is now in a different region file. So once again, you'd need to take the coordinates, put them inside the tool, and then you'd learn the name of this one as well. So you want to make sure that it covers the entirety of your base, and then you have the names of the region files that you're going to keep. So onto my pre-designated list of region files that you should keep. What we're looking at right now is a overview map of the end using a mist and now I'm going to overlay the region in which you'll be keeping if you use my list and there is a very good reason as for why I have extended it this big. So you'll be keeping the end island in the middle, all of the space leading out to the side where you might have an enderman farm and then a large portion of the first end islands in the outer region. Now you want to keep that space because you have these end portals over there. At the moment we're in the central area with the portal and the obsidian pillars and we have the ring of these portals to take us to the outer islands. Now there are also portals like this at the other side and what I've found is if you prune these areas over here with these portals inside of them, sometimes they have a hard time regenerating meaning that you won't have that convenient way to get back all over again. You'd have to fly all the way back to the middle or bridge over here or something. So that is the reason that I have chosen to include the outer end island regions just because they have these portals inside of them. So here on my website which will be linked down in the description box below I have this page and on it you'll find the chunks to keep. You can see it reminds you of the dimension as well. Again that's very important and then we have a list of all the region files that you want to keep for this entire area right here and then at the bottom we have a link to Dinnerbone's region finder tool so you'll probably want to make your own personal list maybe it'll include all of those right there and then some other things perhaps that you built in the end and then you have to go through your world folder and delete all of the files that are not uh, part of this list so I believe that most of them right here are but as soon as we get to the bottom of the list list where we have four and minus four these are now all chunks that are outside or sorry region files that are outside of that area so I can select all of those and delete them but of course before I do that I would make sure I back everything up just in case there was something in there you wanted to keep and that my friends is how you prune chunks from the end dimension it should go without saying as well, but make sure you've exited the world before you do this. And if you're on a server, it's probably a good idea to shut it down in case some players are actually in the end while you're pruning those chunks. Anyway, this is the end of the video. So if you enjoyed it, please do leave a like and support the channel. As always, thanks for doing that. And share this video with anyone who you think it might find it useful, because I think a lot of players would find this useful. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.